We are at Shubdo, trying to find the route for Kongmarula Pass, which is also known as Marula Pass. We are going to Kangyatse too. 6247. Let's take a nap and then start. I'm still sleepy. As we departed from Chokdo, we crossed the Marka Gorge, that is the Indus tributary stream, around 25 times. The reason we took this route was we were acclimatized after the Stokangri mountain and we didn't want to spend 2-3 to three extra days to reach the base camp of Kangyatse. We have to go somewhere like this, behind, yeah. this is our luggage. We were asked to leave early but no one warned us about the stream crossings and the number of stream crossings. Where will you put your... Which leg you will put first here? Which is your dominant leg? Right now, then put it here first. Slowly. Yeah, one. Two. One. Two. Three. Ah, let's go. Easy man. The water was cold, our feet were numb and the levels increased with each crossing. Hang on. Just keep coming, just keep coming, okay? Whatever happens, just keep coming. Now put your leg, put your leg in, just keep coming. Keep coming, pull, pull, pull. Come on, sign it! Put leg here. <coughs> we are en route to what 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 pass? Huh? Kanmarula Pass. And uh, you have to cross through like this almost 28 30 streams. Like keep crisscrossing. One stream only, but keep crossing. Insane! We are right now at Larse. We're gonna leave from 
this camp. We camped here overnight. We're leaving to Kangyatsu to base camp. Let's see if we can do this. As we departed Latse, our minds shifted focus on the Kongmarula Pass. The pass reaches a height of 5,260 meters. That's the road which we came from. Carrying a heavy backpack of around 25 kilos each, we pushed through, huffing and puffing every 20 steps. We are right now on Konmaru La Pass. We are going to summit, hopefully. We will summit KY2, that is Kongmaru Standing at 6,250, correctly 1,000 meter climb. Up. We are <coughs> reaching Nemaling compound as you can see right over there is Nemaling compound we have to summit this mountain from the back mountain I'm not very sure now we'll come to know soon अंदर टेंट पिच करना है तो कितना देना भी है? दो सौ। टेंट जहाँ भी लगो आप जाना है, दो सौ रुपए लगो। मतलब अंदर या बाहर? अंदर लगो, बाहर लगो, यहाँ मस्त। मैंने मैंने। कहाँ से आया? अभी लाख से थे। वो जो पीछे आपका टेंट नहीं लगा? नहीं वो हमारे। वो बेंगली, बेंगली को। लगो, लगो। खाना What's up? We are going up towards the Kangya Tsetu base camp. We are climbing from Nimaling camping ground. That is the pass which we came from. Konmarula Pass. Like this and like this. Correction, Konmarula Pass. <laughs> Open tent. Otherwise our shoes will get wet. Right now we are PV walking because of hailstorm, hailstorm attack. This is the state. Mr. Saini will be back. What's happening? There's a passing cloud. Okay. Which, uh, passing? <laughs> it's always passing clouds, just like life. 
okay what happened Suck. no yeah, what I'm happened fine. we'll take again wait <laughs> so there was a hail hail storm and then we had to open our tents and take shelter under the outer layers of the tent now i'm packing it back pass me the ice axe kangyat say 1 is clear kangyat say 2 is clear you can see the route up till top but i told these guys it's going to be, it's a passing cloud just like life these guys did not believe me it was a passing yeah, cloud just and see you can see the sun out this it's a passing cloud us up <laughs> by saying it's a passing cloud look at the ice around there's no ice around <laughs> there's lot of ice around look at on the back and this was the hill storm attack we are like almost reaching the base camp it's just beautiful As we were just settling at the Kang Yatse base camp, a storm hit us from the south side. A camp was not completely set up. We had to rush through with the structure. Also, we had to cook food and gain back those lost calories. We settled in for the night as the winds picked up and the temperatures hit sub-zero. Marka Valley was treating its guests with cold, and Kang Yatse. did not look happy at all the horrendous outlash lasted for 14 hours things were returning to normal at the base camp we did an acclimatization hike to the foot of kangyatse too our heartbeats were in sync with the slow wind picking up our anxiety level rose as we wanted to push to the summit starting at the night but the mountain had other plans for us As evening approached the skies didn't open up to the stars it was deep dark there was another storm which hit the valley the frozen rain gods poured vehemently but there was a change the skies cleared up in around 73 minutes the mountain gave us an option to climb it we were in dilemma whether to start climbing or postpone it to the next day stranded in a tent because of bad weather we are pushing for a summit tonight but let's see we'll wait for two more hours and then we'll get to know what is happening if what's the, your opinion if the clouds clear tonight and if we move just like any other passing cloud kabhi kabhi lagta hai punish bhagwan hai otherwise what what about uh, tomorrow morning not very sure of tomorrow morning but then If we move, do it. We do it tonight. Otherwise, we have half a packet of uh, poha left, which half a packet of poha, half a packet of uh, oats, some shitty uh, <laughs> peanut butter <laughs> chocolate. It's very bad. I'm not eating. <laughs> But And the one, thing is, we are out of gas. Uh, one gas got over. There's only half uh, gas. No, one more left. gas we have. One gas can still left, so if, that's if the thing. I think if tonight is not working out, we can stretch and try tomorrow night. After that, there won't be any food left. So that's a that will be our last try. That's all. Peace. We were running out of food supplies. We came up with a plan. We had three packets of noodles, around twelve tablespoons of oats. and a packet of popcorn we decided to forego our meal for the day and save it for the next day
our day at the base camp was full of anxiety. This was the penultimate day for the summit push. As the sun set, our stomach flipped and heartbeats were heard by the ears. At half past 10, we started for the mountain top. There was no wind. The skies had lit up. We knew that today was our lucky day. We did a groundbreaking timing of crossing the initial ridge under 30 minutes. Our speed was spectacular. In two hours, we had reached the crampon point. Our joy turned into pain within seconds as we removed our gloves to wear the crampons. The winds picked up and the temperatures dropped. The cold had started to engulf us. We mentally pushed our bodies for a restart. Okay, bro. Roping up and climbing the face of the mountain was starting to get slower. Our pace dropped down drastically as the altitude increased. The time was 5.30 am. We had completed 70% of the climb. We could see the skies open up to the bright rays of the sun. The moment was magical. Our bodies were in exhaustion mode. We were on the south face of the mountain. We had to traverse around 300 meters eastwards in order to reach the ridge. One wrong move would make you tumble thousand odd meters down the east face and the south face. Kangya Tse 2 Kangya Tse 1 Kangya Tse 2 Kangya Tse 1 
Come on, we can do this. Good, good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you will be in a few minutes too. Yeah. So, <laughs> excellent for you. Thank you. <laughs> Julie. Julie, Julie. Uh, for you also. In a few minutes. Saini, wait, 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 wait. He's stuck. I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. To put to rout all that was not mine. Come get it, Papa. And not that I had come to die, I discovered that I had not lived. Oh. oh. Right now we are on Kangyatse 2 top. Uh, with me are Mr. Nishant, Mr. Saini Vivek. So the feet is uh, 6,247. Feet, feet is 6,247 6, uh, 6, meters 
or 20,250 uh, around feet. So, so we started it. We started it around uh, uh, 10, 1030, 1040, and we reached now at 7:30 a.m. in the morning. So that's been a crazy journey. Congrats to successful. Yeah. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. To live so sturdily and Spartan-like as to put to rout all that was not life. To cut a broad swathe and shape close. To drive life into a corner. and reduce it to its lowest terms. <laughs>